Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this with you right here. Let's get it. Yeah, yo, yo, what's going on? What's up? Welcome back to another video today, man. As you can tell by the title, we have something very, very special, dude. And uh, as you can tell by my whole mood and my whole energy, man, I am excited for this. Just because, you know, anything that's based off of Japan or a theme that's something in Japan and just had the name Japan in it, I'm all for it, bro. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I just get excited for it. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into this review. Yeah, man. Yeah, let's get easy hand. All right, so starting off with the box, you have your standard Nike SB Dunk Rainbow Box. Not too special, just a skinny box just because this is a size 7. Label in the box reads, Nike SB Dunk Low Pro QS. Um, colorway is Lagoon Pulse slash Metallic Silver. Size 7, like I said, retail price for 110 Let you guys go ahead and see that. All right, all right. Now, let's get into this for the moment of truth. Standard paper. Man, these, these are crazy, dude. You know what I'm saying? You always gotta do the smell test, but these are crazy. Let me get them both out real quick for you guys. And boom, here you have it. The FCC X Nike SB Dunk Low. Blue Lagoons or the Lagoon Pulses, whatever you want to call these things. But yeah, these, these are nice. You know what I'm saying? When I first saw these, I was like, eh, you know, just another SB Dunk, whatever it is, what it is. But yeah, I like these now. I mess with them. So let's go ahead and get into this review. But before we do that, I got a couple things I have to say. First thing I want to say is big shout out to Fry's Kicks. Link will be down below to his Instagram page. And you know what I'm saying? He might be young, but he's doing big things out here in Tampa. So if you need any kicks, especially if you're locally, go ahead and hit him up. And he was also generous enough to let me do a review on these FTC dunks. I mean, honestly, if it was my size, I probably would have bought the pair, but they're not. But it doesn't mean that these are not for sale. So if you're looking for a size seven, go ahead and hit him up. So that's pretty much all I had to say, so let's get right into this review. So pretty much, uh, I'm going to start this out kind of weird, but I just had to pull out the insoles because you get a red Mount Fuji at sunset, at sunrise, and that's pretty cool. That's pretty dope, and honestly, on the insole, it says FTC, Nike SB, FTC, Nike SB. I think those are waves down there, but I'm not too sure, but... Yeah, pretty dope, pretty dope. Okay, so moving on into the shoe now. Around the sock liner, you just have this nice towel material, which is supposed to be a great representation of the towels that's in the Japanese bathhouse themselves. Let that focus in so you guys can see that. And you just see the material kind of feels like the Grateful Dead material. And of course, you know, FTC was the one who made that, so kind of has that similarity, of course. Coming on to the back of the tongue, you still have that material, and then you have this little tag right here that's supposed to be representing the curtain of a Japanese bathhouse. Usually it will have a different kanji that would read hot water, but this one I want to say reads Sento, which again means Japanese bathhouse, so it would all make sense, right? And then this is blue, like a navy blue, it's just showing up as black. And then on the other pair you have red, which is supposed to be standing for, you know, the women's side. Now, moving on, flipping it over on this fat SB tongue, let me let that focus in real quick for you guys. So you have a white Nike SB, you know, riding on this nice blue tongue, lagoon blue, I want to say. And right where it would say Nike SB, it says FTC, which is pretty dope. Uh, you have a yellow outline around this nice fat blue tongue. Coming on down, you have your white laces and you have your lagoon blue laces. Now, with the laces, people can stop texting me. Okay, so after being interrupted by some calls, I was going to go ahead and move down to the lace tips. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that perfectly or not, but lace tips are yellow and they say FTC on there. Same thing with the Lagoon Pulse pair. You can't obviously see the lace tips, but it's on there. Um, I think it would have been dope if they would have actually gave us some yellow laces with like some blue tips. That would have been cool. Honestly, I'm thinking if I get my personal pair, I want to see how they look with red laces in here. I think they might be, uh, could be dope, could be a little too crazy, you feel me? I don't know. Or you can always go ahead and get some pink laces because with this light colorway, I think, I think they'll look pretty cool. But yeah, so let's finish up this review and move on to the toe box. So you have this nice Lagoon Pulse blue colorway, of course. And then moving on down, you can see this towel texture is supposed to be representing a Japanese bathhouse. And then the blue is supposed to be representing the water in a Japanese bathhouse. Not sure about the silver swoosh, but it is what it is. Coming on to the back, you see FTC embroidered back there. And same thing on the inside of the shoe. 
So yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. Tile textures all around on your Fox thing, your high stay, or your eye stay, and then mud guard up here. Coming on down to the midsole, you have a white midsole. You kind of have that lagoon, uh, that post lagoon, a lagoon post colorway peeking up from the outsole. Coming up to the outsole, it has this nice, clean, like translucent outsole. It's nice, you know. In the middle, you got your Nike SB stamp. And yeah, pretty much that is it. That is the FTC X Nike SB Lagoon Post shoe. That is a mouthful to say, but there it is. Now, for my thoughts and opinions, you guys should already know by now, man. These are pretty much, it's a go. You know what I'm saying? These are for the collection. These are for the toe. These are meant to be worn every day, daily. Nice summer shoe, of course. And like I said before, man, if there's anything that has to do with Japan, theme out of Japan, I don't care. It could be themed after some food in Japan. Like, it's for me, all right? So, yeah, these are a go. But I'm going to go ahead, ask Ali um, her opinions and thoughts on these. And, yeah, we're going to take it on from there. How do you feel about the FTC X Nike SB Lagoon Post shoes? So my personal opinion on these is I um, actually fell in love with these the minute I saw them on um, Instagram. I immediately sent them to Anthony and asked for a pair. Um, it is definitely a shoe I can see myself copying um, later on in the future. Um, a few things I do like is the icy bottoms. The um, his and hers tags on the back is a pretty cool detail. Um, yeah, the tile and then the blue suede. Um, the blue suede is actually pretty nice. I would personally rock them with the blue laces. I know I always say white, but with this pair, I think I would go with the blue laces. Would you go out of your way to get more laces? Like, no. I would say yellow laces would look cool in those. No. No? no. I would pink? stay with the blue or the white. You won't even do pink? No. Oh, no. Where are y'all getting this pink and blue from? Hey, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just going with the trends. No. No pink. I would just stick with the blue or the white laces. Maybe one of each. But it's definitely a shoe I would cop. Definitely a shoe I would actually keep. Um, yeah, it's just a super nice shoe. Lots of good details on there. Um, one thing I'm not a fan of, though, is the tongue. I don't like how thick the tongue is. She doesn't like the SB. She only likes the regulars. Right, 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 right. But other than that, that's my opinion on these shoes. Um, definitely can see myself getting a pair later on. All right, well... And I know that is the end. We're going to do the outro. So uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Definitely thumbs up the video. All that goes a long way. Definitely helps us out in the long run. Um, shout out to Frags one more time for actually hooking us up, letting us do a review on these shoes. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. So stay safe. And I guess I'll see you guys later on the next episode.